Okay, between watching Gary V videos and Casey Neistat videos, I have come to the conclusion that it is just time to just do it. Just put some content out there and do something other than just sit here and talk into a camera and never release it. It just doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do is not copy, but take the best elements of what I've seen and kind of put them together in my own specific kind of way. I love the way Casey uh, vlogged when he was doing it daily. I just absolutely loved it. Setting up the shots, the, the, the constant advice and things that he would talk about. They're just inspiring. And Gary V, I mean, the guy just spews honesty. It's just, it's some of the greatest advice that I've ever heard. However, I am not Gary V this i'm not gary v and i'm not casey neistat this is my first foray into vlogging and we're going to see how it goes starting today see what makes this more fun is that i can do things like come into the kitchen turn on the light get myself some lunch however it's like 10 15 in the morning so it's kind of early for lunch, but I'm starving because I skipped breakfast because I'm trying a stupid intermittent fast and it's just not working. So what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to eat is some delicious turkey, but I'm not going to eat it cold because I can't stand cold turkey. Cold turkey. Yeah, you like that? So I'm going to make myself some lunch at 1015 and then at lunchtime, I'm actually going to go out for a run. So this kind of setup and technique is actually kind of fun i don't think i'll be able to bring a camera because it's raining outside hold on let me let the dog in it's she's she's out there and it's starting to rain and she's not happy about that there she is there's kelly say hi kelly yes hi kelly get down so uh, i'm gonna make my lunch now see the cool part is that i stopped eating red meat about a week ago it's not easy. I used to eat a lot of red meat. And now I'm down to like chicken, turkey, pork occasionally. But I don't mind it. I actually don't miss the red meat. Second cool part is that when you work from home like I do, you can eat lunch whenever you want. And then at lunchtime, you can just take a break and go out for a run or, you know, do a 30, 45 minute workout. It's always key to get your workout in. Cardio. As a triathlete, I gotta do cardio all the time. And so the reason that I'm like just now getting back started is because I had had my collarbone broken and I had surgery. Broke my collarbone in August, had surgery in September, and I'm just now to the point where I feel confident enough to actually get back to working out. It's probably going to be painful for the first couple of weeks, and I don't think that I'm gonna swim because that just that range of motion just isn't there. But I can eat my sliced turkey, I can do a little bit more work, and then I can go out for my run. Then I can come back and do more work, and then I can be done, and all my stuff will be done for the day. And tonight I have um, shooting a commercial uh, in the next couple of weeks with that bad boy. And um, so tonight I'm going to go out and I'm going to scout uh, the location that I'm shooting at and set up some shots because... Uh, I tried to do it last week and well, it didn't go well. So that's what I'm doing today. That's my day to day. So we'll talk about all that commercial stuff at a later time. I'm not by any means a professional filmmaker, professional commercial maker. I'm doing this for a very small group of people, some local people here um, that I believe in what they're doing. Um, it's a fitness thing. Um, I, I love fitness. I love doing fitness. This is not a, a fitness related vlog. It's this is not a fitness related vlog. This is just something that, you know, I like doing. And you're going to occasionally hear me talk about fitness stuff just because it's what I know and what I do. So, you know, you'll have to excuse that. But this is like a daily vlog of what my life is like. I mean, honestly, it's boring, but it's not. Working from home has its advantages and its disadvantages. But right now, I'm going to take advantage of one of those advantages, which is to eat my lunch. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now it's time to get dressed for my run. So, let's go do that.
Okay, dress for my run, headband, headphones because my daughter stole my AirPods and if anybody wants to send me some AirPods, that'd be great. Because these things suck for staying in. But, time for me to go for my run. Let me tell my people that I'm heading out. Okay, that's done. And I am heading out. This is my first run since August. I'm not a fast runner at all. And I'm not going very far, but it's something. So, yeah, this should be fun. Okay, run's done. Did a mile in 12 ish minutes. So, I mean, it's a start. They say it's a start. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm very tired. I ran. I don't normally run fast because I have bad knees. Push a little bit today because I weigh a little bit more, so it's a little bit harder. So I'm trying to lose that weight. And here's the thing about running. Every run begins with a step. And that's what matters the most, is that you take that step. Wow, it's very dim in here. Oh, wash out. So when you take that first step, you know you're on a journey to somewhere. That is what matters the most. I'm gonna take a shower. There's nothing better after a run than water. Yeah, you can try Gatorade and stuff, and uh, my camera's crooked. You can try Gatorade and all that stuff, and it might be good for you, and you know, all that jazz, but water, water is great. So I'm gonna get some water. 32 ounces or 28 ounces or some I don't know some ungodly number but not a paid advertisement this is what I put in my water Mio because well quite honestly I can't stand the taste of regular water water has no taste yes it does if you live in Florida anywhere in Florida you know water has a very distinct taste and it's usually disgusting sulfur almost so I put something in it to make it taste better but it has no added sugar uh, almost forgot my phone. has no added sugar no sugar in it at all and uh, it's uh, gives your water a little bit of flavor and if you're anything like me a little bit of flavor is good because you can't deal with just plain old water so you know you do what you can and since my workout ended like an hour and a half ago, maybe two hours ago, it's it's time to drink some water. And I'm very, very thirsty. So, that's what's going on. This, uh, I don't know how some vloggers can sit around and use a gorilla pot all the time. This thing drives me insane. Because you're always fidgeting with it. It's always like, this is not right. This is not right. There we go. Maybe it's still crooked. That's the part that drives me nuts. A crooked. Let's talk about that. A crooked tripod, crooked shot, unless it's artistically set up that way. Come on. Thank you. Unless it's artistically set up that way, is ridiculous. And the face tracking is stupid on this thing so unless it's set up that way it's stupid I can't stand it and you know yeah so the gorilla pot is making me nuts so I, I'm thinking about putting a tripod across my desk over there to stop this whole gorilla pod nonsense it's great for walking around it's great for attaching it to things, but putting it on your desk is such a pain. I hate it. Oh, and this uh, flavor is um, Tropical Fusion. It tastes like Hawaiian Punch. Also, not an endorsement, but it takes me back to my childhood, which was like 35 years ago.
key is you got to get the right amount in there because if you don't get the right amount in there it just tastes like flavored sulfur <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had flavored sulfur before but it tastes like sulfur crap so yeah drink water this is really starting to sound like a fitness vlog, and I swear it's not that. It's just, today just happens to be the day that I restart my fitness journey to get back to... Wow, where did they go? This. Iron Man. These. Half Iron Mans. All those. All these triathlon medals. I'm a triathlete, but this year... I have a new goal, and that is to run a marathon, a standalone marathon. I've run a marathon, but a standalone marathon where I'm not biking for 112 miles. I'm not swimming for 2.4 miles. I just want to run a marathon. Now, I'll probably do some triathlons too, but my goal this year is to do a marathon and finish in a decent time. And for me, decent, let's see, my, my fastest half marathon was like 245. I am not a fast runner, as I said previously. But I think if I can get a six-hour marathon, I'd be really, really happy with that. And I know some fitness people are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so slow. And you know what? To them, it probably is slow. But to me, it's not. It's not slow at all. To me, the, oh, watch those lights flicker. To me, that's super fast. Six hours. Oh, yeah. That's like 13-minute pace. 12-something. I don't know. Whatever. But you know what? When you've had nine knee surgeries... Every second that you take off of your personal best is, a, is just a win, and that's what I'm hoping for. So, yeah. We're not here to talk about fitness. Tonight, I was supposed to go and shoot part of a commercial on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which I have rigged out, and I have this lens on here, and I actually want a new lens. I really don't like this lens. Um, I, there, I, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a Sigma, uh, 18 to, or 17 to 50, but it's just not, I want a cinema lens. I want something that's made for cinema and that's just not it. So, you know, I'm going to go to Atlanta this weekend. I'll probably vlog that trip. Uh, I will vlog that trip. I'll go to Atlanta this weekend. I'm going to go to some used camera shops and see if I can find some lenses that aren't going to break the bank because my bank is hurting badly it hurts right now to look at my bank account but you know whatever nobody ever made money by not spending money you have to spend money to make money and whoo if everybody realized that in my family they'd understand why i spent so much money on this stuff and i haven't made a dime yet but i'm 45 years old right now someday hopefully before i'm 50 i'll actually be able to say hey i made money on something it might not be much but i made money but first, I have to pay myself back for all this stuff I bought. I mean, I've got, I've got that. I've got all that stuff in there, gimbals and stuff. And I've got all that stuff over there. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. And I've spent a lot of money. And it's not the best stuff. That's the thing. It's not like I'm going out. I didn't go out and buy a Red Dragon or, you know, anything like that. I just bought a Black Magic. I bought this. This EOS Rebel SL2 is what I'm vlogging on. This is my vlogging camera. Um, and and this phone, the, you know, the iPhone 11 Pro. What? Oops, ah, no, stop. The uh, Pro Max. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm vlogging on. I don't have, like, a ton of expensive equipment, but to me, it's expensive, but to a professional filmmaker this is like cheap garbage that they wouldn't even use for a b-roll they'd use this for like c-roll or second second unit crap and stuff like that hold on my son is texting me i mean my son taught me how to play magic the gathering and it's actually pretty fun i always thought it was a geeky game and then i said and then he taught me how to play it he actually taught me how to play dragon ball z first which i had fun with in the beginning and then i kind of eh, uh, kind of left it behind and and now he's gotten me into magic the gathering and i go play with him and his friends i'm like the oldest guy that i know that plays this thing and um he's he built me a deck which is awesome so i've got uh two decks now uh, and his roommate uh wants to sell me another deck so yeah 
So, um, you know, I'm not a geek. I'm not a gamer. I, I don't sit around and play video games. I used to play video games all the time. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could, I could get like an Xbox or something and play Call of Duty for hours. I could play Call of Duty for hours, but I'm not any good at it. So, you know, I don't game anymore. I don't even have an Xbox. I don't have a gaming system. The most I do is play like Magic the Gathering Arena on my on my MacBook. Yeah, you know, I, I don't want a fitness vlog. This is about what I'm trying to do professionally. This is about my personal life. It's about a whole bunch of things and, and we'll get into all of that. Like I've got some some brain issues. I'm not not like a you know, not like I have um brain injury or anything like that, but you know. My brain works differently than a lot of other people's. And then some people are just going to know what that means. You know, I mean, I'm bipolar. Doesn't mean I'm crazy. And it doesn't mean anybody that has bipolar is crazy. They're not. Their brain just works differently. And we'll get into that in another vlog. I don't want to talk about it right now because I had a very rough week last week. And I'm still trying to, like, put all that crap in the past that's where we're at right now i think that for now i'm going to end today's vlog here because i have some work that i need to get done and i'm just not going to have any time to dedicate to this so i've got some work i've got a meeting coming up and um, i need to get some stuff done so tomorrow or whenever this gets published whatever tomorrow is uh i'm gonna i'm gonna Put this together tonight while watching the national championship that I don't really care about, but I love college football, so I'll probably watch it. I'm going to put this together tonight, maybe throw some music under it and publish it and see how it goes. And, you know, I'll try and make another one of these tomorrow and make it more interesting than today. Today was just kind of a test day to see how I could do during the day while working and doing all this other stuff that I've got going on. So, for now... Ending the vlog here. See you tomorrow. Take care.